What's up guys, Jackal here with another Breaking the Build. This time the build is the Pharmacist Steve build. This is a healing build centered around the perk Pharmacy, which lets you search chests faster and more importantly guarantees a emergency med kit from the first uh, chest that you search. Uh, that would be a green med kit, very nice, fast healing. Then to make the healing even faster, we use Botany Knowledge. And of course, if you're going to guarantee yourself a green med kit, you might as well guarantee yourself some add-ons too. So we use Ace in the Hole, and as a little extra bonus at the end of the match, if you survive, you get to keep the add-ons that you find as well. So in a way, this is also a very efficient uh, green med kit and add-on farming build. But mostly we just use it to win the game through our uh, healing efficiency and a little bit of gen efficiency as well as you'll see in this next perk which is um, a diamond in the rough in my opinion quickly becoming one of my favorite perks stakeout uh, this gives you tokens for just uh, hanging out near the killer and uh, which you're incidentally doing a lot of the time during the match I'm getting tokens non-stop often even while I'm repairing I'm getting these tokens because he's chasing someone else around me and these tokens make good skill checks great. I know what you're thinking, you always get great skill checks, right? Well, on top of that, it makes these great skill checks that use the tokens, that is when you hit the good zone, uh, also repair generators faster. And it's only 1% faster, but when you're getting up to four tokens max, and also sometimes regenerating them while repairing, that can actually uh, really help with the gen efficiency situation. And on top of that, these great skill checks also work when you're healing, and healing is the name of the game for this build. So, um, to go over the perks again, we get uh, free green med kit and, you know, faster uh, box searching. Uh, we get uh, faster healing, we've got better add-ons, you get to keep your add-ons, and we've got a little bit faster gens and uh, faster healing through stakeout, uh, which is uh, quickly becoming my favorite perk, even though I don't see anybody running it ever. Um, as far as bringing items, I typically bring a brown or yellow med kit with no add-ons. This is a backup med kit, because what I want to do is find a treasure chest uh, straight off the bat and just pick up my green med kit with the add-ons uh, but if I get chased off the box or I just don't spawn near one sometimes that happens in a in a game this is your backup to make sure that you can heal yourself and you get that uh, that heal efficiency um, in the meantime until you do finally find a chest and pick up your green box so let's talk about uh, some pros and cons the strengths of the build um, and what I find most fun I think the uh, pros of the build obviously is very fast healing. It does that very well. This is uh, the probably the most fun very fast healing build. It's maybe not uh, as fast on average as autodidact, but it also doesn't have the downsides. You know, you're not going to be um, uh, sometimes with autodidact. Your first heal uh, is trying to pick someone up from dying state uh, while the killer is coming, and then oh, you got a skill check, and now you've regressed the heal just long enough to uh, let the killer catch up. So, uh, unlike Autodidact, just getting consistent great skill checks with Takeout, uh, oftentimes the add-ons you get from uh, Ace in the Hole after you've gotten your green med kit will also uh, increase uh, the rate of skill checks or increase the bonus from skill checks because those uh, add-ons for med kits are very common, and those are great with stakeout, pairing with stakeout, because then you're getting great skill checks all the time and they're increasing your healing speed by quite a lot. Um, so basically the name of the game is healing. It's very fun for that if you like that play style, helping out your allies. Um, uh, on top of that, although it's a healing build, it also has a little bit of gen efficiency, which I really like. I really like that you can do gen surprisingly fast with stakeout, especially if the killer's t you're near the killer's terror radius. You can hear the killer chasing someone uh, in proximity of your generator. You're constantly getting those tokens every 15 seconds and constantly using them on skill checks. And uh, hey, if you can... If you can get something like uh, seven or eight skill checks on a generator, which is not unheard of, uh, while the tokens are going, you know, at least um, five or six of those are going to be are going to be uh, using up the tokens, and then that's another five or six percent uh, generator progress that you would have otherwise not had. And on top of that, it it helps with the healing too. So, just great healing speed and a little bit of gen efficiency. That's what I like to see in a build. Just trying to be efficient and get the objectives done. This is another objective-based build. Uh, one of these days, maybe I'll do a uh, 
a looping or kind of uh, you know um, escaping the killer build but for now we've got just uh, obje uh, objective efficiency builds as far as downsides well your teammates don't always let you uh, heal them but of course you know you're gonna need a um, you're gonna need a self heal or you're gonna need to heal almost every match and so this build will allow you to self heal very very quickly even in chase uh, I often heal in chase with this build which is something I previously had never done but with this build um, you know you heal so fast with the green med kit with add-ons with stakeout that uh, you can you can even get away with it drop a pallet do it like maybe 25% uh, of your heal you jump through a window do another 10% of your heal and and uh, by the time they've caught up to you uh, oops you're back up to healthy state again and uh, I think the the downsides are yes uh, your teammates sometimes won't let you heal but usually t teammates at least at the level I play at uh, usually they do want to heal there's not a whole lot of adrenaline gamers uh, in my queues and um, they usually do want a heal whenever they're injured and so uh, sometimes uh, even when your teammates want to heal when it's not a great idea such as against uh, uh, let's say a legion who's gonna be injuring you all the time almost for free anyway but at least uh, with the teammates that want heals even when it's not a good idea this makes it kind of more of a good idea because at least it's a very fast heal it doesn't take away much from the gen progression um, another downside is um, of course this must have stuck out to most of you there's no exhaustion perk so this really even more so than the last one is not a running build um, I would say you could stick it in you know if you want to use an exhaustion perk instead of I don't know, instead of stakeout, although that would make me sad, but uh, I guess you could if you wanted to, but I don't run it. This is how I run the build. This is how I prefer it. Um, yeah, no exhaustion perk, no escape perk of any kind, you know, no vault speed, no, uh, no dance with me, anything like that. So if you get caught by the killer, you're just relying completely on your skills, no second chances, no get out of jail free cards, but on the plus side, um, at least, uh, you know, if you get caught or you get hit, you're going to be able to heal yourself up very quickly. And so, in that way, if you can actually manage to fully heal yourself during the course of a, of a, a long chase, then in a, in a way, that is uh, that is your escape mechanism, or that is your uh, your uh, chase ability, as opposed to an exhaustion perk. Um, yeah, I'd say that's about it for the downsides. Uh, that would be A, teammates not allowing you to heal them, or B, um, not being able to get away from the killer because there's no perks that help you do that. Uh, overall, I thought that this was a very fun build. I really like helping the team's efficiency. I like when my build helps the team's efficiency. I think that's the, the best way I can contribute to the four-man party is to just uh, make the team uh, do everything just a little bit faster and, and uh, make the killer feel a little bit more pressured for time than they otherwise would have if the heals were a little slower or the gens were a little slower. And I think this build does that very well, especially using a, a few very underutilized perks such as uh, Pharmacy and Stakeout, which um, I almost never see anybody run ever. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the build as much as I enjoy playing it, and maybe give it a try for yourself. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.